Hey, hello everyone. How are you? Dennis Gebhardt here with Guru Village. I uh, just wanted to jump on today and kind of share a little information with you, my fellow salon professionals. Uh, at our company, we have been offering this online program for the last month called Founded a Formulation Foundation, and we've got an uh, outstanding response from salon professionals all over the country, uh, even into Canada, uh, on this class program, which is done exclusively online, which is very gratifying to me. Uh, that salon professionals, there are a group of them that actually want to raise their game when it comes to formulation. And I know many of you may be saying, well, wait, I formulate. But in reality, most of us started off formulating pretty basic, pretty basic. I don't know about you, but in beauty school, my idea of formulation was to take my color bottle, shove it in a window, somebody would fill a full of product, I would go squirt it on my client's head. I was a colorist, not but I thought I was until I had my first hair color nightmare in the salon, one of many. And I realized that I didn't know everything I needed to know because no one had really given me a system. They had given me recipes uh, back in the day when we formulated for highlighting hair, we had a formula created by a company called Clairol, which was one part moon gold, one part topaz, and one part flax and blonde. And we would highlight everybody's hair with that formulation. Uh, not because it was the right formula, but because it was the only recipe we had for highlighting. And so we have, as an industry, become really um, and addicted to formulas. In fact, uh, you'll see people who go to hair shows and watch uh, artists on stage, and they'll say, give me that formula. And in the reality, unless you're doing that client, unless that client's going to come to you, after she has been a model for that artist at that hair show, really the formula that they're using is not even relevant because uh, everybody's hair is different. Uh, the pigmentation in their hair is different, the pigmentation in their body. And so really we need to understand a system that allows us to formulate for everyone as an individual. The second way that we formulate in this industry today is what I call the hair color quarterback. You may be that person. You may be that person that is the one they walk over to. They go, look, walk by my chair. Don't let her know you're looking. I'll wait here. You come and tell me what I need to mix up. I'm sure you, if you've had that happen to you or if you've been the one who's asked that question, you can really understand that now we're asking someone else to formulate for us only because we don't, don't have the skill set or a system in our head that helps us formulate. And of course, the third way, which I really find very humorous, is the person who puts everything they could imagine could go wrong in the bowl. Medium brown, medium golden brown, a little ash brown, one ribbon inch, one drop, one dollop, one, uh, one the size of a pea. It's crazy how we formulate. We formulate like we cook. And that's really not what formulation is. Hair color, remember, is not like cooking. It is actually like baking. So the slightest addition or the slightest subtraction can literally cause that formula to go sideways. And the reason that we do this is because we really were never given a system, a step-by-step -step system that allowed us to formulate with success 90% of the time. And so uh, I was very blessed. My mentor shared with me a system to help me formulate, and I have shared that with my salon trainees, my salon teams for the past 35 years. And it has produced some very, very successful uh, colorists in our industry. Not only my own team, but as I traveled and taught for other manufacturers, there are salon professionals across North America and actually throughout Europe that are using this system and are having great success with it. And the reason I wanted to come on is not to tout the system to you, but to share with you some of the discoveries that, that our own people are making now since we've been doing this for the last month, like understanding that every color brand, you need to master your brand. I mean, you need to know what the background or the base of your color is. That's vitally important because remember, a color result is a combination of what the hair contributes along with what the color is contributing. And so if I don't understand the base of the background of my color, it's going to be impossible for me to predict success all of the time. So one of the things that I encourage people to do is to dye out your brand. And it's very easy to do this. You can go to the 
fabric store. You can uh, buy yourself some in the remnant section, buy yourself some white wool or white cotton, put it on an embroidery uh, hoop and just paint your colors on it. In fact, let me reach for one back here and show you kind of what that looks like. So this is an embroidery hoop. These are colors that we've just painted on that. And what this does, it helps me identify the base of my color. In other words, is it truly a brown base? Or is it a brown base with green? Or is it a brown base with gray or blue violet? Those kind of things are essential to know when you're formulating. Because if I have a color that doesn't have a complementary base, that's relevant to the undertone that the hair is contributing, I'm not gonna achieve success. My color is gonna go sideways and I'm gonna get really, really upset. So first of all, I would just say to all of you, is a great exercise is to test your products. I don't care what brand you use, go through and test them. All you do is mix it with 20 volume developer, take your brush and just paint it on this. This is white wool and let it set. Come back and check it in a couple of hours. You'll find two things. Number one, you'll find out what the base is. Number two, you'll find out whether or not you have a clean or dirty formulation. What's the difference? Here's the difference. A dirty formulation is going to look very muddy when you come back to look at it. It's not going to look clean. It's going to look like there's tons of combinations of colors. You'll see it's very dark. That It's not going to be pretty. A clean formulation will look clean. Your natural series, your browns, should look clean. Your reds with browns should look pretty nice. Your ashes should look pretty good. Your goals should look pretty good. So test your product. Now, if you get surprised, then maybe you want to come to our program. It's real easy. All you have to do is check out our website, www.guruvillage.net. Our next program is going to be May, March the 20th, not May, March the 20th, from 10 o'clock in the morning till 1 p.m. in the afternoon Pacific Standard Time. And if you're interested in that, uh, I'd love to take you on the journey through formulation. But in any case, here's a hot tip for you today. Test your product, and then you can message me on Facebook or on Instagram or on Facebook Messenger and tell me what your discoveries are. Anyway, I wanted to jump on today, share that with you. Hot tip, help be successful by knowing the brand you're working with. Don't believe everything the manufacturer tells you. Test it yourself. That empowers you as a salon professional, and that's our goal as a company, to help you achieve more success and more mastery of your art form. So until I see you again, from me to you, from my heart to yours, Captain Color, out.